I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I gotta like that I was in Welcome or welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing amazingly well So in today's video we are going to be talking about fall fragrances But before I start this video Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up And let me know what your scent of the day is Also make sure you are following me on instagram do scan the qr code on the screen and click the follow button now let's get on with today's video now fall is actually my favorite season i'm wearing my most beautiful outfits my neutral tones i just love the fashion in fall i love the perfumes this is the best season ever and i'm going to share i think six or seven incredible fragrances that are perfect for this season so i'm going to begin with cashmere and palo santo this perfume is a hug in a bottle this is warm cozy spicy vanilla when you put this on it feels like a blanket over your body it's just so so beautiful it's incredible and what's more incredible about this perfume is it was gifted to me by marcy here on youtube she's also on instagram thank you so much i am so obsessed with this because we can't get this in the uk this is not available in the uk as i'm doing this video i don't know why but this is only available maybe in the states or maybe other parts of the world but i feel so honored and privileged to own this beautiful warm cozy almost like a blanket like a warm beautiful soft blanket over your body this is just amazing perfect for evening dates out perfect for the cinema perfect for wearing in the house it's just such a versatile beautiful perfume for the autumn season the next perfume is one of my absolute favorite vanilla perfumes in the entire universe and it is annie by nishane this perfume is 100 ml and look at what i've done to it like the dent is absolutely denting and i am going to get a backup bottle very very soon this perfume makes me happy this is spicy ginger this is green this is vanilla the dry down of this of this perfume is unbelievable it smells incredible it projects far and wide you will get a ton of compliments i've heard people find this to be masculine i disagree i completely utterly disagree because I am a girly girl and this is not giving me masculine energy this is a unisex scent that you can share with your partner a guy a girl can wear this perfume easily if you felt like this was a little bit maybe too green or maybe too spicy because skin chemistry does have a lot to do with how a perfume projects performs smells on each person you could actually sweeten this up with a more vanilla heavy perfume such as vanilla 28 i get a ton of compliments from annie out of all the vanilla perfumes in my collection this one gets me the most compliment and the longevity is literally 24 hours this is a perfect vanilla perfume that's not too cloying that just smells so refined so stunning i highly highly recommend this so that is annie by nishane the next perfume is prada paradox intense i love this more than the original i think there's a new prada paradox as well i forgot what that one is called i'm yet to smell it but i'm hearing good things about it i feel like prada paradox intense is a floral with like jasmine neroli and it has like a ton of vanilla pumped into it you don't need to overspray this it's such a perfect scent for this time of the year it's more for like an evening like a cool fall evening it's great for date night it's when I say it's great for daily wear, because I see this more as like a nighttime scent, I want to say it's when you're going out in the nighttime, when you are hanging with friends, going on a date. So if you want something reliable that smells good and will last you all night, definitely get your nose on Prada Paradox Intense. Next on my list, we have Black Tie by Celine. I am obsessed with this perfume, guys. I am truly in love with this i haven't seen this in a very long time i don't know if it's been discontinued i don't know if they're changing it out because it's a new one called zuzu and i can't lie they are very similar they are very similar um i don't know i don't know if i can say they're different enough to own because i only sniffed this at harrods about two weeks ago um not the zuzu 
and I thought it was really nice, like an ambery vanilla. This is also a bit ambery, but this is more buttery vanilla. Um, I feel like if you like this, you're going to love Zuzu. But if I had to pick one out of the two, I'll probably say Zuzu is a lot more likable. I feel like these people may see this as a basic vanilla, it's just a buttery sweet vanilla. It's actually it's not that sweet, it's more like a creamy buttery vanilla. Whereas Zuzu has a little bit more to it. I think it's the amber that makes Zuzu a little bit more, it just gives like a little bit of a humph. But for me, I am happy with my black tie. This sits closer to the skin. This is not a highly projecting in your face kind of perfume. It's very understated. It's very much like quiet luxury. It's not giving bold, but it smells really good. Like it lingers around and people that are close to you will smell this. And it just has a very familiar scent to it. I absolutely love this. Again, it's not projecting. It's not like the most long lasting perfume. You may get about five to six hours from this, which for me, I don't actually mind because I can just carry a small atomizer with me if I wanted it to last me all day long. Anyway, that is Black Tie by Celine. Next, we have Vanilla Oud by Kayali. I only got 10 mil of this and I got 10 mil on purpose because I love to layer this with the rose oud. They smell insane together. But vanilla oud is probably one of the strongest vanillas in my collection. This is from the Oudgasm range where they mixed a lot of popular notes with oud. This is strong. For anyone that complains about Kayali's longevity, this is powerful this is very strong this project it's got like praline it has um rose it has vanilla of course it's woody it's sexy it's spicy it's amazing it's great for layering if you found the oud to be coming out a bit too much which i doubt because this is more vanilla than oud you can mix this with vanilla 28 i kid you not this smells incredible with vanilla 28 and any of the rose um perfumes that Kayali has you can even mix with other rose perfumes as well it's versatile it's beautiful it's vanilla on the next level so that is vanilla oud by Kayali. this next perfume i've barely spoken about it in like years but this is one of the most beautiful most beautiful ambery spicy perfume ever and it's by l'artisan perfumer and this is le hambre extreme i have the original le hambre i'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know about this perfume but if you like a powdery scent if you like a spicy ambery perfume with a very buttery smooth vanilla you are going to adore this perfume i have the body wash i have the body lotion like i have a ton of everything le hambre because it exudes so much beauty it's nothing like you've smelled before even though it's an ambery scent it has certain similarities just certain tiny similarities to grand soir but i will pick this over grand soir i find this a lot more feminine than grand soir this is always sold out in selfridges for good reason and when you go into self selfridges counter this is one of the perfumes that is empty because everybody seems to love this it has like a smooth projection about it like when you're walking past people the whiffs of it is like people will turn around and ask you what on earth are you wearing because there's nothing like this one thing i love about this brand is they're very understated it's, it's like if you know you know and it's not everyone that knows but when you know you don't want to stop knowing because this is so so incredible one of my favorites next to banana banana by Latizan. This is my second favorite. I highly, highly recommend you get your nose on it. And I know somebody's going to ask me, where do I buy this from? I will link it. I believe they have it at Harrods. It's always sold out in Selfridges. But if it's not, I will link it also. And of course, you can get it from the Lartisan website. So that is Le Hambre Extreme by Lartisan Perfumer. There is something about this next perfume that knocked me off my feet and it is by a brand called Memoirs London and the perfume is called, please pardon my pronunciation, Abundantia, I believe it is called. I love this. Look at the bottle. Just look at the bottle in itself. This was kindly gifted to me by the brand. There is no discount code, no affiliate link, nothing like that. Obviously, if I find the link online, I will leave it down below. 
but i went to selfridges to go and smell a lot of their perfumes and i was told i can pick any perfume that i liked which i thought was quite lovely like perks of the job so i <laughs> went into selfridges i had the most amazing experience the sales associate was so knowledgeable and i ended up choosing this perfume to be honest it was the first one i looked at because the bottle was so striking but when i smelled the juice this is so unique now i have to give you the notes for this perfume so it has rhubarb it has mandarin orange bergamot it's got ginger geranium osmanthus and it dries down it dries down with caramel vanilla sandalwood and patchouli patchouli is very very much in the background but that vanilla guys and that caramel really really comes alive in the dry down the rhubarb gives it a tartness it gives it like a punch and this gets sweeter on the skin so you have to like a sweet 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 perfume in order to like this and it is perfect it's actually a good perfume for spring but i feel like this is going to really really shine in the autumn season it is so beautiful longevity is insane i love this i will always have this in my collection even though this was gifted it's probably one of the few perfumes in their collection that will actually purchase over and over again so that is abundantia abundantia <laughs> by Memoirs London. The next perfume is my baby, my love, my changing constants by Fen Halligans. I have been waiting to use this perfume since the beginning of this year. This is my favorite perfume by Pen Halligans. I put so many people onto this perfume. It's actually, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of myself because I was one of the few people that discovered this particular perfume. I love changing constants. This is me in a bottle. This is spicy, vanilla, caramel, very smooth, very buttery, very easy to just digest. It's just so alluring, so inviting. It's a wow, wow, wow. This is the one of the very few perfumes that I've done a dedicated review because I am so in love with it. Smelling it is believing it. If you are a gourmand lover, check out Changing Constance. The next perfume is Johnny by Sora Dora. If you like croissants, if you like pastries, if you like baked apple, if you like caramel, if you like the ultimate gourmand, this is it. This is it right here. I used this perfume two days ago and I was shocked by the longevity. So I sprayed this on, I was working from home and something as I was typing, I was in meetings, like the, every time I moved, I could smell something. I was just thinking to myself, I didn't even spray much. I didn't even spray much of this perfume, but it was projecting when my husband got home and he was like, ah, ah baby, what are you wearing? I was like, ah. It's this perfume or I've had this in my collection for months now, but I forgot about it because I kept using Mallow over and over again. And I'm still going to talk about Mallow in a new video, in a different video. But this journey right here is giving me pastry. I feel like, you know, I've gone to a coffee store in Paris and I'm sitting down having my croissant and I've got my, my cafe latte with a caramel syrup. It's just giving me that vibe. This is so incredible again longevity shocked me because i did not think this was gonna last literally the whole day and it kept projecting non-stop this is a beautiful scent so adora you need to bring out more perfumes like this i love it i feel like all the perfumes with this color cap are giving they are really really giving check out johnny if you have not already and let me know what you think and the last but not least angel share angel share by killian who doesn't love this perfume? Honestly, who does? Comment down below if you don't like Angel Share. Comment down below. I would actually love to count how many people don't like this perfume. This is absolutely insane. I am obsessed with Angel Share. It gives me Christmas vibes, holiday vibes, happy vibes. It's amazing. It's sweet. It's boozy. It's spicy. It's sexy. It has cognac. It's got a lot of vanilla. It's woody. It's perfectly unisex it is a perfect perfume in my eyes i am not gonna say anything else about angel share unless if you've not had your nose on this yet go and smell this perfume and kindly let me know what you think in the comment section down below i love this i know there's a new one coming out 
um i think it's called is it old-fashioned it's called something and i love the packaging of that and i feel like it's meant to be an exclusive and no one's really talking about it but i've seen it online and i'm gonna bring you guys the news whether or not it's gonna come out we don't know but the bottle is out there already so somebody may have leaked it i don't know but i am desperate to smell that perfume i think it's going to be similar to angel share but let me not speculate about it i'm just really really excited to smell that one but but this is a masterpiece in my humble opinion so that is angel share by killian so my lovelies i know i was meant to just talk about like a few perfumes but i just kept going and going and going because again this is my favorite season i love i love the fall season so much like it brings out so much joy inside of me and i cannot wait to wear all my fall fragrances i cannot wait to bring you guys more fall content because you're gonna get a ton of them i'm gonna do a vanilla line up um, probably next week so make sure you stay tuned for that i'm also gonna release a video sometime this week i was meant to have done a tag video for weeks now if not months but i've done it i just need to edit it so once it's edited i'm gonna post this sometime this week so make sure you look out for that thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye